16 Real Women Reveal Why They Cheated on Their Partners If you've experienced heartbreak from infidelity, you understand it's a uniquely painful blow that requires considerable effort to heal from. Trusting your partner again may become impossible after they've cheated. Infidelity, including emotional affairs, is a leading cause of divorce. While the Institute for Family Studies indicates that more husbands than wives confess to being unfaithful, a psychoanalyst notes a 40% rise in unfaithful women since 1990, whereas the rate for men has remained relatively stable. I wasn't quite ready to leave him because of the kids. He had cheated on me multiple times, and I wasn't ready to leave him because of the kids, so I sought revenge by sleeping with someone else. In hindsight, I wish I had taken the high road. I left him two months later. I desired an emotional attachment. Yes, I cheated, but it was before my husband and I were married. It wasn't physical, it was more of an emotional attachment that my husband, then boyfriend, considered cheating. After swallowing my pride, I agree with him. It was unnecessary, and it's something I still grapple with today. There was a lot of trauma during that period, and while it's no excuse, it was the sole reason I sought an emotional connection. My husband had left unexpectedly for nearly a year, and when he came back, I was unsure if I wanted to be with someone who could leave so easily after we had built a strong relationship. During his absence, I developed a relationship with another man, which I ended when my husband and I started dating again. However, issues persisted between us, so I reverted to the other man. It was not really a satisfying and healthy relationship. I somewhat cheated on a boyfriend a long time ago. In my defense, I was only 19 and not yet mature, and this boyfriend came out of the closet shortly after, so it wasn't a satisfying or healthy relationship. He got back together with me once he had his fun. I would cheat on my current boyfriend because he left me to date someone else, then got back together with me after he had his fun. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to come along. He pushed me over the edge one night. I did cheat on one person in my life. He wasn't a great guy and constantly accused me of sleeping with other men when I wasn't. One night, he pushed me over the edge by claiming I was going to sleep with the photographer at a photo shoot. In my rage, I decided to just go through with it. It was incredibly immature, but in my defense, I broke up with him the next day rather than lying and continuing the relationship. I don't plan on cheating again. I was afraid of being alone. I was unhappy in my relationship and terrified of being alone. I dreaded confrontation and was scared of making the wrong decision, whether it was staying or leaving. I cried about it a lot. I knew I was hurting both him and myself, but I couldn't bring myself to end it. Eventually, I did break up with him. Cheating is unforgivable, and as the cheater, I didn't deserve to be with him. There was something missing. I was in a long-term relationship for several years, but something was missing. By chance, I met someone new, and after a year of getting to know them, I couldn't hold back my feelings. I cheated emotionally for months and then physically once before ending the relationship to be with the other person. The relationship wasn't right. After six years together, I knew the relationship wasn't right, but the memories, experiences, and time we shared made it hard to admit. I emotionally cheated, got caught, went through hell, and was somehow forgiven. We tried to work it out but broke up a few months later. It was incredibly tough and still is. I cheated on my abuser. My husband would throw things, hit things, and break things. He would curse at me, yell at me, and raise his hands to me. I couldn't stop him. I didn't love the man I cheated with, but he treated me the way I wanted to be treated. If I wanted to take things slow, he moved slowly. My wants mattered. I would do anything he asked, even things I wasn't initially into, because I knew he would respect my wishes if I wanted to stop. Our relationship was purely physical. We didn't even cuddle. However, he respected me more than my husband did. So yes, I was unfaithful to my husband. But I never betrayed the man I married. I betrayed my abuser. I betrayed my tormentor. Yesterday, I was unfaithful to my husband. It wasn't planned or thought out, it just happened. He's been overseas with his military contracting company for nine months now, and I've missed him terribly. Being in a town where I have no family or close friends to connect with has been incredibly isolating and alienating, sometimes feeling like torture. A few days ago, I met a guy around my age in a coffee shop. 
He noticed a sticker on my laptop from a band I thought no one knew about. It turned out he did, and after a whirlwind few hours, I found myself at his house that evening, where it happened. Initially, I thought he would just be a friend with whom I could share music recommendations, but in a moment of isolation, my needs turned selfishly physical. I just went along with it. I was out with the girls on Friday for a long overdue night out, and we really went all out. During the evening, I ran into a former colleague who was with her partner and some friends. We chatted for a bit, and eventually, they invited me back to their hotel room. I knew what was likely to happen, but I went along with it anyway. We ended up at their hotel room where she initiated things with me. Eventually, I ended up being intimate with both of them. It was exhilarating in the moment, but afterwards, I felt ashamed and disgusted with myself. I don't understand why I went through with it. I love my husband. I can't believe I've done this. I met a guy who enjoyed talking to me and hanging out with me. We were in a long-distance relationship. We dated in high school, and when I went to college, he often complained about visiting me every other month, whereas I made the effort to see him every weekend. He also didn't enjoy texting or calling as much as I desired. During that time, I met someone who enjoyed spending time with me and talking to me. I didn't have many friends, so I welcomed the companionship, even though he had a girlfriend and was consistently flirting with me. I was feeling lonely and vulnerable, and he was very manipulative. Eventually, my significant other and I broke up, but I didn't disclose the affair until after we reconciled and dated for two more years. He was hurt, but he understood that I deeply regretted my actions and felt ashamed of myself. I thought he had cheated on me. I believe there are a couple of reasons why I cheated. Firstly, I thought he had been unfaithful to me, based on something he said that implied he had been intimate with someone else. Secondly, he was abusive, and the other person made me feel desired and valued. Feeling mistreated and unloved, I fell for the other person. Despite these reasons, I deeply regret my actions, as I have always promised myself that I would never cheat. I was scared of commitment. I was afraid of committing to him, he wanted us to be exclusive, but I wasn't ready. I ended up getting extremely drunk and slept with another guy. I confessed to him the next day. He always played the victim. Cheating on him during a two-day festival fling made me realize how toxic my relationship with my significant other was. He constantly played the victim, made me feel guilty even over minor disagreements, and hinted at self-harm if I ever considered leaving him, among other things. I don't justify my actions at all, but sometimes experiences like these can make you realize, oh, so this is how it's supposed to feel. He refused to leave me. We both understood that our relationship was at its end, but neither of us wanted to acknowledge it. I lacked the courage to end things, and he was unwilling to let go. I chose the easy, cowardly path and cheated instead. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.